I'm Dr. Steven Nesson. I am the Chief Academic Officer at the Heart, Vascular, and Thoracic Institute at the Cleveland Clinic. Lepodicerin, which is the drug we studied, is an unusual small interfering RNA that targets lipoprotein A. It has a very long duration of action. And we needed to know how to dose this drug in phase three. Phase three is actually underway. And we designed it in such a way that the results of the phase two trial would be used to inform the dose and dosing interval in the ongoing phase three trial. So included people over the age of 40 who had a lipoprotein A level greater than 175 nanomoles per liter. Um, we studied doses from 16 milligrams to 400 milligrams. And in the 400 milligram dose group, we studied both a single dose of 400 milligrams and two doses at 180 day intervals, and then followed the patients out to 540 days. The primary endpoint was the time averaged reduction from day 60 to day 180, and we achieved a 93.9% reduction in lipoprotein A during that interval. But we also looked out to a year, and from 30 to 360 days, there was an 88.5% reduction in lipoprotein A. After two doses at a year, there was a 95% reduction, and it was still reduced by 74% at 540 days. So a very durable effect on lipoprotein A. Well, look, whenever you can have a drug that you need to give in frequently, adherence to the therapy is much better. And so a drug you can give twice or even once a year it gives us a huge advantage over something you have to take more frequently. And so this design of this molecule that gives it a very durable effect is an important advance for patients because it makes it much more accessible and more likely to be used. We will, of course, have the phase three, and that's underway and going very well. And we're going to look at, you know, the phase two carefully to see if we can identify you know, who has the best response, who has the worst response, so that we can refine our understanding of how to use the drug when it eventually, hopefully, comes to market.